cats. Hey, uh, we're back. Um, took me a while to get that, uh, that last video loaded, uh, because, you know, I'm learning things, but I'm going to try to keep this under 16 minutes. I guess that helps a lot. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway. Okay. So today darting, right? So we're doing a different version of darting. I made this, um, I made this topper for this vase. Right, so this is supposed to be the top, but it is too small. So I'm going to um, I'm going to dart this piece in, and I also think that because this kind of has this four square kind of uh, design going on, that I think having four darts will look real nice. Now, how do I make those even? Right, we don't have our awesome little decorating wheels at home to be able to do that. So what I did was I took just a standard piece of eight and a half by eleven paper and I folded it to the corner, right? Oh, I guess I would have done it this way. Folded it to the corner, and then cut off the bottom so that it's a perfect square, and then folded it the other way. So now I've got this nice kind of, you know, diamond, or the four triangles. So then what you can do is, so long as you can center it pretty well, and you can kind of center it by just feeling with your fingers like how far away from the piece that is, that's about right that way, and that's about right that way. And then you can just hold it down a little bit. And now on each of these little seam marks, I'm going to make a dent with my needle tool. So I'm just denting in right where that paper, or right where the seam of the fold is making contact with the clay. And then I will have four nice marks on there, which I do. Oops, except this one is boop, boop, boop. Um, I had, I had tried it earlier before I uh, got you guys on video so that I wouldn't screw up. So, so anyway, so now if you take a look here, right now, can you see I've got four little marks on the rim? One, two, three, four. Anyway, hope you can see that. Okay, then I am going to cut darts. So, if you remember last time we made darts that were kind of leaf shaped, this time I'm gonna go with a straight up uh, pizza cut. So, a couple of different ways to do that. First, I'm going to, I want them to all be the exact same <clears throat> um, kind of length. And I don't know exactly what that length is going to be, so I'm just going to take a guess. But I just, with my little pinky fingernail, just made a little line. Um, so I know what that depth is. Then I'm going to go about a half an inch on either side of the mark that I made and cut down to the line. And here, I'm going to do the same, cut down to the line. And, you know, fortunately, clay is pretty plastic, so... If it's not exact, it will at least be close. And if it's not exact, we can squish it into shape. So there's kind of where my first start's going to be. I'm kind of thinking that that might not be quite big enough, but I'm going to go ahead and cut the other four because I can increase them by the same degree as well. But so I have this nice little cut here, and then I'm going to, um, right, I've got this little triangle cut out, and I'm going to put this on the next mark so that I'm sure that I cut my, um, right, so I'm lining this up on the little cut mark on top, if you can see that. So I got my little marks lined up, and then I'm going to cut so that I know that all my cuts are the same size. Okay, and it would sure be neat if I could just do this with it facing you. I'll try it on the next one. Close these darts a little bit and see if that, if my topper now fits. Because it might not, you know, I might have not made these quite big enough for that topper to fit. But it's kind of fun to take something from round to square just by taking out triangles, right? From round to square, or from, yeah, round to square by taking out triangles. So I'll show you the top of this here in a second. There we go. Yep, those are nicely even. That looks really good. Yeah. Okay, so now, if I tip this up towards you, see how that has become square? Cool, huh? 
Okay, now we're gonna, and all I can really do is visually measure because I don't have a caliper at home. I don't know if you guys have a caliper at home. I don't, and I'm trying to, in these demos, I'm trying to work with what you guys probably have. So, you know, that might be close. Ooh, yeah, maybe just a little bit more. Yeah, just a little bit more. Okay, yep, so I'm gonna cut these out just a tiny bit wider. So I'm going to go like an eighth of an inch on each side, but I'm still going down to the point. So I'm just cutting them wider at the top, but not at the bottom. I don't want to go any deeper than that. I kind of like the idea of this 